Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about these rollout wheels here. For those of you who may not know, my name is Austin Ross. I've been a pipeline welder for going on eight years now. Here on this channel, I share tips and tricks for rig welders, pipeliners, and the pipeline lifestyle. If those are videos that you're interested in, make sure and subscribe and ring that bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. All right, so the reason I built these rollout wheels were for a couple of different reasons. I built this one whenever I was working in Colorado about seven years ago now, I can't believe it's been that long. I was working on tank batteries, working with a guy by the name of Travis Guthrie. He had one of these rollout wheels, real similar to this. That's where I got the idea. His was all machined and had a bearing back here. The hinge apparatus back here to make it hinge like this was all machined out and everything. But we were welding on tank batteries, doing a bunch of two inch. When we were out there and he had one of these and I was like, golly, golly. Like he was able to just make lots of welds a lot faster without breaking his back and it just it just looked super duper handy like that's why people use these i was like i got to make more of them so whenever i got home i i did i went ahead and bought a chuck and everything so anyway that's why i built this was for small fabrication that one i built in uh 2017 so about four years later i built it just for the house to have here to practice with a little bit bigger pipe here at the house the reason I built it was because I wanted a way to roll out bigger pipe. Whenever I took my test at the uh, 798 training center, because whenever you join the union, you gotta take it to, well, you don't, you don't technically have to, but to get on the out of work list, put your name on the out of work list, they want you to go there and take their test, which is a 24 inch, 500 wall, regular bell hole, puddle cap, which means one cap versus like two or three or more. And since I've been welding pipeline, I have rarely had to cap 500 volt, puddle cap 500 volt. We've always been able to three beat it and three beating it, I would say is a lot easier. It's a lot easier to three beat something than it is puddle cap it, especially like on the bottom of 24 inch and bigger, especially being a half inch thick, which means your bevels are, oh, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. Apart. To make a long story short, whenever I took my test there at the hall, I struggled with that bottom. And the first time I took my test, I technically failed, which not a huge deal, but what that instructor told me was one of the instructors liked it and the other one didn't. So, because I mean, it would work, you know, it chewed x ray all day long, but he just didn't like how much it hung down in that middle. So they put me on a rollout wheel that they had there at the school. They got a rollout wheel on 24 inch, and all I did was cap that bottom over and over again. And that gave me the idea of like, man, I want a way to like practice on 12 inch or bigger here at home. You know, I want a way to put it on 45. I want a way to roll it out or whatever, you know, just to, so I ain't got to go to the school and practice. So anyway, that's why I built that one. So let's get y'all a closer look and show you how I built these things real quick. This is a lathe, lathe chuck. It, uh, I believe it's a eight inch lathe chuck. I want to say I gave $180 for it back in 2013. I don't know what they are now. It'll hold anywhere from two to, or actually like one, or anything really. It goes down that tight. Anyway, anywhere from one to mm, at least 10. It might even hold 12 inch, but you definitely want to have jack stand or something underneath here, depending on how much you got hanging out here. So yeah, $180 plus I probably gave, I had Stillwater Steel burn this out, the place that I used to work right after high school, they have a burn table. So I probably gave, I don't know, $50, $75 for this piece that I had burned out just to use as a handle. And then uh, three holes back here to bolt to your plate with the handle. Then I welded a shaft onto the plate and it's not true. I tried my dangdest to weld that on square, but it still is, is not true. So, but yeah, and then I welded like a plate back here to keep it from coming out. Welded me a fancy little, <laughs> not fancy at all, fancy little stop right there. A break, if you will. And then I put a plate right here. This, I literally just threw this on here, but this really needs to be in the center back here right here that way it lifts more evenly because which with this rollout wheel it don't really matter because there's so much slop right here oh, let's see if i can show you yeah there's so much 
the pipe that I used is not does not fit very good but that thing is heavy so you can't even tell it just laying here but anyway got a little apparatus to help get your stuff level back here but yeah if I do it different I would definitely put one in the middle and get pipe that fits a little tighter here that's literally just pipe and cold roll just made my own little hinge there and then you got this two inch coming off and I had it in my fifth wheel hitch which I do not recommend even though I used it like that for a while it was in the middle of my bed and it was just it was kind of a pain I didn't I didn't like it right there in the middle so I would definitely advise doing what a lot of guys do which is just put it put your pockets you know going in like don't have this part sticking down just a piece of square tubing with a pin here or here to slide this in to one side of your bed or the other that way it's on whatever side you want it on a lot easier that way I do not recommend putting it in the middle unless you don't use it very often and that was kind of my case I didn't use it just too terribly often but it was nice to have for whenever I done that type of work and then this one is same idea I really just wanted it for this rolling apparatus I literally like I said same idea just took some good fitting pipe put inside uh, yep pipe or cold roll I think that's pipe yeah put it inside here went through the plate put a stop back here so it couldn't come out can't see it but that's all that is and then same idea hinge system here this is a little bit tighter though and then I cut a hole in this and just put it through here this cart let's talk about this this cart this fancy little cart here I did not build this cart for this I had this cart years ago I actually built it for a little MIG welder that I had one of the MIG welders that doesn't come with a cart I just threw this thing together very bulky just don't like it at all but that's I've had it I've used it for that sold the MIG welder and still had this cart I've used it to put my uh, butane heater on here in the shop I've used it for all kinds of things and now I use it for a mobile uh, welding practice welding apparatus counterweight big old chunk of steel back here and a piece of pipe just to act as a counterweight because if you get too much pipe out here it gets it wants to <laughs> so yeah that's that these two rollout wheels the very first rollout wheel that I ever had before these was in 2011 and it was real similar to this one as far as the pipe inside of pipe but on the end of it you had a plate wow that's not a very good drawing at all had a plate with a slot here and a slot here and then your pipe was welded right here coming out pipe inside a pipe right here and then your vise back here I get it I can't draw but your vise pipe uh, swivel apparatus and then a plate and then what people would do is you could make different sizes of these and the one I saw Michael Michael Sayre he was the one that gave me my first pipe fabrication job and what he used before these trucks were ever around was this plate system and what you did was take flange bolts and you bolted a flange to the outside of here whatever size of flange you know say a two inch or even you know make one make a plate that could hold two inch on up to to like I don't know six or eight inch I don't remember flange and then you welded your pipe and a 90 you know out here and uh, and then you roll it out that way it just took a little more work but you could still roll welds out this way I remember welding out some 12 inch with Michael on a rollout wheel but it was a it was a bigger I think he had two different sizes of, of plates with a piece of pipe in here and just put it in a vise and bolted your flange on so pretty good drawing but I hope you get get the idea that's what that's what we used that's what I used before I ever heard this chuck apparatus so yeah pretty interesting I reckon so like I said two 200 I'm gonna say 300 on this situation about three hundred dollars probably not even that much but i'm gonna say three hundred and then literally just i don't know less than 50 for that over there for if you actually had to buy that material um, but i had all that probably laying around 
So yeah, very inexpensive to, to build your own. There are companies that build these things like mass produce them off the hook is one that I know of that's real popular. He builds one that's all true and legit. I mean, just real nice. I mean, real nice. It's gonna cost you like, I don't know, 1200, 2000, I don't know, cost you over a thousand dollars. I don't remember how much they cost, but they are super handy. If you do that type of work all the time. As far as my situation nowadays, for those of you that follow along, you know that I'm in the union and that I have not been on a union fabrication job yet. But in the in the union on fabrication jobs, things are done a little bit differently as far as what you can have or, or whatever, the, the way they do things. So talking about the rollout wheel, the rollout wheel and the Hoosier pole are, are two things that I can think of that are different about from union to non-union. On uh, union jobs, I don't know if it's technically illegal to have a rollout wheel. But from what I've heard, a lot of stewards on the jobs won't allow guys to have these because it makes it unfair if everyone doesn't have one or because the contractor doesn't supply it. Like if you got three guys working on small fabrication, if one guy has a rollout wheel, then he's got an unfair advantage to the other two. So I think that's the deal around the rollout wheels in the union and, and why you may not see them. And you might, again, I don't know, I haven't been on a union fabrication job. Somebody that is in the union, feel free to comment and let us know if these are allowed. But uh, you don't see these a whole lot on union jobs, partly because they don't do as much tank battery and like smaller fabrication, like that type of work, plant work. You know, we do, you know, mainline. It's known for bigger pipes. We still do two inch on compressor stations and stuff, but it's just not as much and it's just, it's kind of a, you're kind of getting into a different category whenever you get into the union and big main lines. It's just, it's mostly all focused on bigger pipes. So you don't really see these a lot on guys that are in the 798 like, like myself. So that's what I know. So I haven't used this recently, but, but I did use it a lot back in the day and it was super handy, super makes things way, way faster, way nicer. You ain't gonna bend over as much. I mean, you're literally right here all day rolling welds out way faster and way more comfortable. Yeah, it just makes working on a little pipe a lot more enjoyable. Anyway, I think that is going to be it. I hope you guys are staying safe this week. My advice for this week is weigh your options. When it comes to buying a rollout wheel or making your own, weigh your options, you know? Or, or maybe my advice should be don't devalue the cost of buying such a thing. You know, if, if you're doing a lot of like plant work and you know, tank battery work and stuff and, and you're staying busy, you know, those jobs tend to last longer anyway versus mainline. So like if you're doing a bunch of that, it may be worth buying one versus building one. Now, if you're like myself and you mostly done mainline, but you do do some station work here and there, but it's not worth your money to spend a thousand dollars or more on a rollout wheel, you might consider building your own just because it's, it's, you know, you maybe you have more time to build your own or uh, the amount of time you're gonna use it isn't worth the uh, over a thousand dollars. I don't know how much one costs, but that's my advice is weigh your options and, and or don't be misled by the price of something depending on how much you're gonna use it. So what is it, what is it worth to you? You know, weigh your options. And uh, we'll see y'all next Friday. Be safe and remember, learn something every day.